Okay, so here's a bit of a follow-up to the bee swarm. So how you could kind of tidy this up and clean this up a little bit. So as I showed you in the last video, you could select, you know, two players and they get highlighted. But I want to be able to label these and just generally kind of clean this up um, a little bit more. You'll notice as well, it's hard to see on this video, but as I select, if you keep an eye on these kind of six or eight dots around here, they can move around a bit. Now, they don't actually obviously move along the goals per 90 axis, but they can jump around. So I want to just clean up some of those things. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to right click on the B swarm calc and edit the table calculation. Actually, I'll do that last. I'll do that last. Okay, so I've got my two selected here, but I want to be able to label these. Now, this is going to be quite difficult because Tableau has no way of knowing that these are the only two I want to label. So I'm actually going to create a a second calculated field. So I've selected players here, but let's edit that and call it color, okay? Because that's the one that's on my color. So that determines what color they are. I'm gonna duplicate this now, and I'm gonna edit it. And the next thing I wanna do, what did I say, label. Okay, so I'll do label. And we're gonna make this player. This player okay so what I'm saying is if the player one is equal to the player then return his name all right and the same for player two I'm gonna get rid of the else because I don't want any of the gray dots here to be labeled okay so they're essentially gonna be null they're gonna have no label and the only two that should appear are player one and player two here okay so it's just saying really just return these two names Ben Davis Adam Lallana okay so I'm going to click OK to that and drop that onto the label, go into the label, allow overlap because there should only be two and I'm just going to put it center and on top. You can see now I have the two players. So let's pick Johnny Ings. Okay, out here, Adam Lana, so we can see the two dots. The next thing I want to do is size them. So I want the two I've selected to be a little bit bigger than the others. And again, I can't really use the existing ones. So again, I'm gonna go back up to the color here and I'm gonna duplicate it. And I'm gonna edit this and simply just change that to a one, okay? The reason for this is I want both of these players, regardless of who they are, to be the same size. So these are gonna be one and this one is gonna be two, okay? Doesn't really matter to be honest, what the numbers are, just as long as they're different. Okay, so this is going to be my selected players size. And click OK. And put that onto my size. Okay, and we can come over here and, oh, wrong screen, and edit this. So let's edit the sizes. And the first thing is I want to reverse them. Okay, so I want the two I've selected to be much bigger. And then you can really play around with what kind of size you want the dots to be. Okay, so I probably want to shift that a little bit like that. Okay, so now I have them labeled and I have one size bigger than the other, which is exactly what I was after. Uh, you could go one further with, you know, putting the actual measure on here. Again, I, I think this would get a little bit tricky if you're doing loads of them but let's let's do it anyway so let's duplicate the label one edit and in this case instead of returning the player name i want her to return the goals per 90. won't because these are aggregate. Let's see, is this, I think this will work. Okay. And there we can put it in the label as well. Okay, so again, I should be able to pick a player, Martial, I get his name and I get his goals per 90 in the label and everything else kind of fades into the background, which I quite like. Okay, so that's one way you can tidy this up. As I said, the last thing I want to do is these dots don't jump around. 
And I can do that if I right click and edit the table calc and just pick all of these, okay? And that just means the dots don't move around. The big advantage here then is, you know, you can call this goals per 90. I can right click and duplicate it. So that's why I always try and spend some time getting the first one right with all the formatting and stuff that I need. Because uh, then you don't have to repeat this. So I can duplicate it and then it should be a case of swapping out, you know, let's say we go with expected assists. Okay, and the only thing that I have to change is that 0.24 and 0.43. I would need to change that per measure. All the other things stay, but that label is is wrong. Okay, um, that label is wrong. So I just need to remove that one. So I do think without the, the actual label on the, on the point itself, it's easier, but you can obviously do that for each one. But now we have expected assists. And again, if we go to a dashboard, I'm only going to do this with two, but you can imagine this, you know, across the board, you can now pick David Louise versus Connor Cody, and you can see where they lie in expected assists and goals per 90. Okay, hopefully that's been useful.